NASA has unveiled a groundbreaking development in the form of its hypersonic X-59. This fighter jet is designed to break the norm for commercial air travel. It is also designed to be fast and noiseless and is capable of reaching an exceptional speed of more than Mach 1.5. Incredible, right? The introduction of this aircraft has generated a lot of interest and controversy throughout the world. It has raised questions like, how does it achieve such a high speed without noise? What makes it different from other aircraft? Join us as we analyze the features and capabilities of NASA's remarkable hypersonic X-59. The dated history of supersonic fighters. The first supersonic jets first took to the sky in the 20th century. They were capable of exceeding the speed of sound and were used for research and military operations. Only two supersonic jets ever achieved commercial success, the Soviet Tu-144 and the Anglo-French Concorde. The most notable passenger airplane to travel at supersonic speeds was the Concorde, which could achieve maximum speeds of more than twice the speed of sound. Imagine flying from London to New York in less than three and a half hours. That's right, folks. The Concorde could cover this distance in about half the time it would take typical airliners. Although the Concorde is out of service now, a new supersonic jet that rivals the Concorde was unveiled by NASA in 2024. The Lockheed Martin X-59 Quest, sometimes called NASA's hypersonic X-59, or the Quest, is fast, quiet, and spectacular. And it is about to redefine what we know about high-speed travel. Just recently, NASA and Lockheed Martin unveiled this next-generation aircraft that is set to completely revolutionize air travel. Thanks to its design, shape, and features, the aircraft can achieve incredible speed, faster than the speed of sound without generating noise. It is said to generate a sonic boom that is quieter than ever before and rivals the Anglo-French Concorde. Supersonic aircraft are really impressive. However, they cannot be used for commercial purposes. This boom occurs when an aircraft travels faster than sound. The air around it compresses to create a large shock wave. But the X-59 is set up to be the first jet to change this and make it possible for supersonic jets to move over land and travel as fast as sound without making noise. This means that we may be seeing more of these fast-moving aircraft in the future. The engineers behind the futuristic Lockheed Martin X-59 used next-generation technology to make it quiet and fast. The shape of the X-59 assists in creating a spread of the shockwaves. This ultimately stops the loud boom that happens when such aircraft take off. So instead of the loud boom, what people might hear would be a quiet sonic thump, which has been compared to the sound of a car door when closed. This futuristic aircraft is scheduled to take to the skies for its first quiet supersonic flight. Talk about making some noise while being quiet. However, the Quest team isn't leaving anything to chance. They will be conducting several test flights at Skunk Works to ensure everything is in top shape before the inaugural takeoff. Once the team is satisfied, the X-59 will be transferred to its new home, NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California. Once NASA wraps up its test flights, the aircraft will fly over several cities across the United States of America. Although these cities are yet to be selected, here's the cool part. They'll be collecting data on the sound the X-59 makes and how people perceive it. The data will then be handed over to the federal aviation administrators and international regulators. On the 4th of August, 2023, Lockheed Martin released a video of the X-59 being taxied out of the hangar. And on the 5th of January, 2024, a press release announced that the X-59 would be unveiled the following week. The announcement was met with great anticipation and excitement, and on the 12th of January, the X-59 was officially unveiled. The X-59 is expected to cruise at Mach 1.42, which is 1,510 kilometers per hour or 937 miles per hour at an altitude of 55,000 feet. The design of the Lockheed Martin X-59 Quest. The plane has a remarkable design with a length of 99.7 feet and a dynamic wingspan of 29.5 feet. It is designed to achieve a maximum takeoff weight of 32,300 pounds or 14,700 kilograms. Now let's talk power. The plane is powered by a General Electric F414 engine, and this beast of an engine can provide a powerful thrust of about 22,000 pounds with an afterburner. 
It is due to this powerful engine that the plane can reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.5 or 990 miles per hour and 1,590 kilometers per hour and cruise at Mach 1.42 or 940 miles per hour at an altitude of 55,000 feet. As of 2017, the ground noise of this aircraft was expected to be around 60 dBA, which is around 1 1,000th as loud as current supersonic aircraft. This significant reduction in noise was achieved by using a long, narrow airframe and canards to keep the shock waves from coalescing. Fast forward to 2018, projections indicated that the aircraft created a 75 EPNDB thump on the ground. Now let's take a look at the engine. The central engine has a top-mounted intake for low boom. However, inlet flow distortion due to vortices is a concern that engineers are keeping an eye on. Beyond that, what makes this aircraft truly unique? The uniqueness of the hypersonic X-59 is in all its components. That is, the cockpit, the ejection seat, and the canopy, all of which are derived from the design of the Northrop T-38. The Northrop T-38 Talon is a twin jet with two seats that was developed in the late 1950s by the American aerospace company Northrop Corporate and was also phenomenal in its time. Similarly, the landing gear of the X-59 was designed after the design of the General Dynamics F-16, which makes it stand out in terms of performance, speed, and design. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is an American single supersonic multi-role aircraft that was designed for the United States of America's Air Force by General Dynamics. The design of the cockpit is sleek and futuristic, making it visually stunning and functional. However, what truly sets the X-59 apart from other aircraft is the pointed nose cone that dominates the front of the airplane. This nose is long and it obstructs the front vision of the pilots, which can be considered risky. However, despite this potential risk, the engineers have found a way to compensate for the front vision obstruction. The X-59 is equipped with an external vision system. This allows the pilot to see far and wide without missing anything. So even though the pilots can't see directly ahead, this system ensures they won't miss a thing. The ingenuity of the engineers and their taste in design has allowed them to create a next level aircraft that is both safe and visually appealing. But wait, there's more. Back in January 2019, Collins Airspace, a subsidiary of United Technologies, was chosen to supply its ProLine Fusion Cockpit Avionics. What this means is that the system will not only display the terrain on the ground, but also integrate EVS with long-wave infrared sensors. This allows the pilots to have a clear view of their environment and provides them with situational awareness, especially in low-light conditions, which is a significant technological advancement in the history of air travel. And here's the cherry on top, the Collins EVS-3600 Multispectral Imaging System, which is located beneath the nose, can also be used for landing. The development of the hypersonic X-59. In 2018, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, awarded Lockheed Martin a whopping $247.5 million contract to design, build, and deliver the low-boom X-plane by late 2021. However, fast forward to June 26, 2018, the United States Air Force gave NASA some exciting news. They had assigned the X-59 Quest designation to the demonstrator, and by October, NASA had wrapped up three weeks of wind tunnel testing on an 8% scale model. They tested high angles of attack up to 50 degrees and 88 degrees at very low speed, a significant increase from the 13 degrees in previous tunnel campaigns. The testing focused on static stability and control of the aircraft, dynamic forced oscillations, and the laser flow visualization. This expanded on previous experimental and computational predictions. Starting from November 5, 2018, NASA had a unique plan. They decided to conduct a series of tests over a two-week period in Galveston, Texas, to understand how the sound from these supersonic flights would impact the residents. They simulated up to eight sonic thumps per day at various locations. These thumps were monitored by up to 20 noise sensors scattered across the area, and about 400 residents were interviewed to describe their experiences with these tests. And for their time, they received a compensation of $25 per week. How did they create these sonic thumps? Well, an FA-18 Hornet would dive from an altitude of 50,000 feet, which is about 15,200 meters, and briefly go supersonic. This helped to minimize shockwaves over Galveston Island while producing a stronger boom over water. 
In May 2019, a significant milestone was achieved. To test the effectiveness of the External Vision System, or XVS, a King Air was put to the test. This flight testing took place at none other than NASA Langley. After this, the high-speed wind tunnel was put to the test, and the test was conducted with a 9.5% scale model at the NASA Glenn Research Center. The goal was to verify the inlet performance predictions. A critical design review was successfully conducted from the 9th of September to the 13th of September. This was followed by a report to NASA in November by the Integrated Aviation Systems Program were expected to be released to the engineering department. The wing assembly of the aircraft was scheduled to be completed by the end of 2020. By December 2020, the construction of the aircraft was halfway completed and the inaugural flight was scheduled for 2021. However, after the flight clearance at the Armstrong Flight Research Center, an acoustic validation was conducted all through September 2022. After this, NASA made plans to conduct test run flights in some cities in the United States to observe and verify the performance and safety of the X-59, and to also take note of the response and reception of people in the area to the flight, which would determine the commercial success of the X-59 over land. Aside from testing communal response to the hypersonic X-59, the test was also about creating a sonic boom standard for the ICAO's Committee on Aviation Environment Protection meeting. It was then resolved in 2022 that the decision would be delivered to the ICAO and the FAA in 2027. What this means is that by 2028, there could be a possible revision of the rules for commercial supersonic travel over land. However, in 2024, plans changed and the X-59 was unveiled and is now being scheduled to take its inaugural flight. If this goes as planned, the X-59 will not only be a groundbreaking success, but will also allow people to travel commercially at supersonic speed. This is an exciting concept, considering that another example of an object that travels at the speed of sound is a bullet fired from a gun. With this innovation, commercial air travel will be faster than ever, making it an exhilarating experience for aviation enthusiasts. That's right, the X-59 is rewriting the rules of aviation and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Thanks for watching. What's your take on this technological marvel? Are the capabilities truly unrivaled? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.